What's up, everyone? It's Justin from the Edison Club, and we have third place, Edison Club's very own Michael Boyd with, what are you playing? I'm playing Penguin Gadgets. <laughs> oh, actually, I just played Lightsworn. It lo doesn't look like Lightsworn. Literally, like, you mill the, four, like, the top four cars, there's no Lightsworn there's there. There's no Lightsworn. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I played pure Lightsworn today. Made well, uh, third place. So, there were 53 people there. Yep. Um, you got third place. Yep. Uh, $2,000 cash event, so you walked out with some cash. Yep. Pretty cool. Um... Tell us what your matchups were. Um, well, I just thought about the fact that those are on my notes on my phone, which is what we're using to record. But <laughs> I, uh, I played against Welly Dad, one against that. I played against uh, Diva Hero, one against that. Uh, lost to Vayu Turbo. Then I won against Diva Hero Beat. Then I played against uh, Frogs and beat that. And then I played against uh, Messenger of Peace Quick Draw. Managed to win that. Apparently, Prohibition is just uh, Royal Oppression Jr. in that matchup. And then I played against Cameron in Top Cut. He was playing Frogs. I beat him. And then I played against Ryan Prescott in uh, Top Four. Ended up losing to him. He was my only loss all day twice. So And he won. And he won. So that's, that's a pretty good loss to have. So All right. Well, let's go ahead and start with your main deck. Okay. Shouts to uh, Big Boy Gaming and Smithfield. Uh, this match really awesome. Um, really glad I was able to take one home. So, starting things off, can you see everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. good. So, we just have, like, the standard non-engine cards for Lightsworn. You pretty much see these across the board with most Lightsworn lists. There's not a lot to say. Gores was pretty underwhelming today. I actually don't think I summoned Gores more than, like, one time. I really didn't miss it. So, don't know if I actually need him going forward. Do you wish it was Trag instead, or? No, I really don't like Tragodia in Lightsworn. I, th I feel like Trag is the best in decks that have a lot of tuners. You can really take full advantage of Trag, yeah. and this deck just doesn't. But I'm going to go over this card last. All right. Um, then we have two Honest. There's not much explanation needed here. I think it's what makes the deck really good alongside his partner in crime, two Judgment Dragon. Not a lot to say there. Do you like Judgment Dragon in the main? I usually just side deck Judgment Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have one Aaron, one Arcus, one Lumina, one Garoth. Pretty standard here. Some people cut Aaron to the side, but I think she's always there. She's spins back stuff like Treeborn Frogs and Floaters, and she's 1600 mils three. So I did, Ar did Arcus come in clutch in the uh, Monarch matchup? Today? Arcus Arcus put in so much work today. I actually would consider playing a second Arcus just because of how good. If you have this card in Honest, there's just not a lot that really does anything to it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we have I played two Jane. I always feel like a 2100 normal summon's pretty good. And it gets over a lot of things. And Mills too. She was good. Um, then two Celestia and two Lila. After today, I almost feel like I could play one Lila and get away with it. She yeah. kind of stinks when you see multiple. But maybe you do need to. I'm not sure. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was fine. Um, you know, this is the, the standard number. So, and Celestia was just broken. I'll play another card in here that kind of helps Celestia always go off. So, and then... Just like my theory says, we're playing Light Sworn, we're going to mill Light Sworn cards. I did play three Wolf. Um, sometimes you draw them, sometimes you don't. Um, if I play in matchups that are like very aggressive, like Gladiator Beast or Black Wing or Veil, I usually actually take two out. Because normally I feel like in that match you just want all your cards to be real. And you just don't really want to see dead Wolves in those matchups. Then we have three Raikou, who also underperformed today. I feel like no one really ever attacked into this card. It was fine. I think you still play him at three, but... Um, so the next card I play, as far as a monster, kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with a spell. Um, so actually, I have a main deck one Junk Synchron because I also play Rhoda. So Rhoda gets Garoth, Jane, or Aaron, and also gets Junk Synchron. So Junk Synchron gives Rhoda a lot more flexibility, being able to um, pull back Raikou, either make Cataster, Android, or Junk Warrior. It's also really nice because Junk Synchron plus Lila can actually get you into Arcanite Magician, which is something that normally this deck can't make. So you can also play stuff like Junk Warrior if you really want to. Uh, for spells, the rest of the spells we have one Charge, one Foolish, one Brain Con, one Space, one Heavy, and then uh, I also main decked one Smashing. This spot was a Book of Moon, but. Uh, I'm really happy I played Smashing Ground. It was actually really good today. Just as a one of just spot removal in the main. I, th I think he, it could be book as well, but the Smashing was fine. Then I played two Monster Reincarnation. Gets back our Judgment Dragons. Gets back Honest. 
and uh, three solar recharge, pretty much nothing out of the ordinary there. And then for traps, we played three threatening roar. Kind of helps Celeste always go off, keeps you alive. Once again, if you've watched my ultimate Light Sworn guide, you know I kind of feel like Light Sworn's like a stall deck. Like you're just trying to extend the game until you see your better cards. And I think this card helps you keep your board and get you where you need to be. So that's all for the main deck. It's 40 cards. Awesome. You want to go over the uh, side deck? I'll go over the side deck. Uh, two Cyber Dragons. They never came in today, but they're good to have. I have two DD Crow. It was it was good. Uh, there's not a lot to say about DD Crow, honestly. Uh, so a little bit different of a side deck theory we came up with here was like we actually side decked Gold Sark and cards that were kind of a blowout in some ways off of Gold Sark. So Soul Release, Lightning Vortex, and Giant True Nade. Kind of the thought here was like, anytime I go first, even if I have nothing for the matchup, I can always put in Gold Sark because it makes my deck better. We chose to side them because we never really want to see Gold Sark going second. So this ensures you never see it going second. You always get to use it going first. So you can like Sark for one of these or like Cyber Dragon, depending on the matchup. And then we have two Royal Oppression for uh, quick draw and like zombies, things like that. Then we have two copies of Royal Oppression Jr. Um, I was really tired of losing to Hero Beat, so we're just calling Neos Alias off of this, but apparently this also works really good in the quick draw matchup when you when they banish Drill Warrior and you play Prohibition and call Drill Warrior, it doesn't come back. So that was really good. Um, hadn't really thought about Prohibition in that regard, but it was good when it came up. And then the last two cards were two Shield Crush. I really like Nobleman of Cross Out a lot as a card in the format against Floaters, Ryko, Hamster, whatever. Unfortunately, I can't play that card because I also play Ryko, so I don't want to hit my own Rykos. But Shield Crush kind of does the same thing. Um, gets rid of those Hamsters, gets rid of the Rykos, and it also can sometimes hit stuff like a face-up Gores or Gores token because normally they drop that stuff in defense position. So Shield Crush was fine. All right, so go with the uh, extra to extra end it off. Uh, I'll go over this last. Like I said, we have Arcanite Magician. Comes up with Junk Synchron and Lila. You can like Lila pop a back row, Junk Synchron revive something, uh, revive back Ryko. And then you're pretty much set up to Mistworm or Arcanite from there, which is nice. Then we have Black Rose Dragon. I don't think I made him all day. Magical Android, didn't make her. Armory Arm. Flamvel Urquazus, I made him a lot. This guy put in so much work today attacking over Treeborn Frogs, Dandelion Token, stuff like that. And then we have Tempest Magician, who I didn't make today. We have Colossal, Thought Ruler, Stardust. Also did not make these today. Uh, Mistworm, I think I made him once. And uh, we have Goyo and Brio. I didn't make Goyo, I did make Brio. Uh, then we have Cataster and Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. And then the last card is Junk Warrior. Uh, I went back and forth over a long time. I didn't really feel like this card was should be in the deck. And you actually... Um, I only played this card because it lets Junk Synchron out Catasters. So Junk Synchron revives back Raikou and you can make this, which is 2300 dark. So it doesn't make you like forfeit your own Cataster to get over Cataster. So you can just run it over with Junk Warrior. Awesome. It did come up once and it was really good when it did come up. Awesome. So uh, definitely think you'll be uh, stick with this for a while. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is my deck. I think today kind of just really proved that too so i think i'm sticking with her for a while well congratulations thank you so much oh shoot i forgot to press record all right justin <laughs> from medicine club signing out <laughs>